Hey, hey, it's Noble, creator of the Museum TV, and we are Boston's premier vlog. But right now, we're out here in Broward on the go. You know we like to tell the stories of creatives going hard for theirs, and not just only in Boston, but really anywhere that we can get to. Shout out to Dawes and Dales for letting us do the sit downs in here. There's definitely a lot of love. We want to get used to the culture here in Broward at large. So without further ado, let's get into things. Lord, I'm here. I never imagined it. It look cool at black. It's my cat. You are now tuned into your favorite DJ. DJ Reese. Alright, we got J.O. booted up. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, man. We here with the young producer, J.O., who has been making some serious noise down here in Broward, man. J.O., what you been on today, big dog? I mean, same reason why we having this interview, you feel me? Just putting in word, making beats, connecting with artists, you feel me? Trying to make hits. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. I'm going to keep it a mail with you. I don't usually leave the crib before 7 p.m. on summer days, but we here on vacation, man. We rocking out with you guys, man. So I have to come through, bro, man. So tell me, man, what's going on around here in Broadwood, bro? Bro, it's, it's, it's lit out here, you feel me? Like, we, we the new hub of music. We coming with so many different styles and, and swags, like... You know what I'm saying? We we the new Atlanta, basically. We the new Broward, basically. You feel me? Like, we're the place to go if you're trying to look for something new. That's lit. That's lit. So, I mean, you've seen the come up here in Broward. Boston is making some noise, some noise up north, too, but not to, like, the Kodak or the X level right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But as a producer, how is the music scene in, like, you know, guys like you, Bullet, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nate, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are really crafting the sound. Like... What would you say the producer's role was as far as this come up right now? Um, really just honing in on the sound that that everybody just like gravitating towards and, and really coming up with like our version, you feel me, like coming up with the brow version because we have a mixture of what's relevant internationally, like, well nationally really, but like what's really hot right now and putting our swag in it because we have our own swag, but like, we do a good job of putting everything together and coming out with a whole new sound that's just it's just it's just different to the ears, is entertaining to the ear. I'm already black, I don't need no black bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know yo, about that, bro. But what you yo, know about it's that? It's crazy. Man. That line could have been the reason why that song ain't dropped yet. <laughs> For real. Cause I be rap, but I don't be on that rap shit. I still be in the hood, to my strap and shit. Thought that flag, that's how shit be happening. That time I let you slide with your ass. Say the truth, sandwich in my mattress. Hey, what? Well, the yellow bones don't want no black. Bitch. I'm already black, I don't need no black. Hey, hey. Put your hands up if you a bad bitch. Hey. Hey, let's go and blow and check and sex. Hey. For real, like, this shit crazy, but like, I it's a so hard ass one. For a lot of people that don't know, you know what I'm saying? We. There was a video that surfaced of, of Kodak, you know what I'm saying, like really bopping to a dope ass record, but nobody ever seen the record after that video kind of dropped on the gram. Um, but low key, you had hands in, you know what I'm saying, the production of that record, and low key, Khaled and Drake's To The Max record, which yeah. is on Khaled's Ungrateful, you know what I'm saying, so congrats to that, bro, for sure, for sure. What could you tell a producer watching this? that got the attention of a Drake or a Kodak or, you know what I'm saying, a Khaled, from your perspective, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, just my style when it comes to beats is real, or being real based on like the melodies, like making sure the melodies, like it catches your ear, you feel me? Like it just, it just catch you off guard to the point where like it's, it's almost addicting in a way, you feel me? Not to sound arrogant or anything, but like I really take pride you, in that. You can be arrogant, bro. You can, yeah, yeah, you can be arrogant, bro. Yeah, nigga, I'm the rock producer out here. Nigga, you feel me? My shit hot as shit. That's why they fuck up. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, but like, like, for real, for real, though, like, I did grow up in, like, a Christian household or whatever. My dad's a gospel Haitian singer, so you feel me? I grew up in the studio, and they really they really used a lot of um, real instrument sounding stuff. So I grew up on that real, like, instrument, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, I don't know how to explain it, like like real chords, real complex chords and everything. So I incorporate that in my music. And I guess that's what, what, what they gravitated to, like 
it just caught their ear so you see feel me so that's dope bro that's dope no bully um well first off we all know the records is lit right now you know what i'm saying yeah. um you might mess around be sitting on the platinum plot you know what i'm saying you don't even know word, so word, that's word, lit word, word. um god willing god willing right you know but um let's talk a little bit more about broward though so we know that the scene is starting to bubble up here, but what are some artists that, you know, some people might not know um, that you were close on or like, like you, or you have your eye on and, and like really um, rock with? And um, let's just say, who haven't you worked with from Broward that's, that's lit or not from Broward outside, you know? So not just Florida, basically. Um, it's a lot of artists, artists out here that's really bubbling right now, you feel me? Um, Taras Sushi, he's really doing a lot right now. Taras, Taras dope. I, I, I just caught wind for his shit, bro, and everything that I've heard has been fire. Like, I like yeah. his style. I like his style. Yeah, he just dropped the tape, the Etienne EP, you feel me? He's working on his, his album right now. But, like, he's really bubbling right now. He's working. But we have a whole bunch of artists out here that's working, too, you feel me? We got artists like Sold Out Willie, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's bubbling right now. We have artists like Bulletproof Soul. Um... Mike Lowry, he just dropped the tape just yesterday, 808 Lowry Holiday, produced by 808 Nate. Um, yeah, we got mad artists out here. Um, but like, who, 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 would, who haven't you worked with that you feel like you would want to? Um, and not just Florida, you know what I'm saying? Out here? Uh, yeah, out here and also like OT. Um, uh, it's... That's a big question. I mean, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of sound out there. It's facts, facts, facts. I mean, you, mad music out there. You over there? And with the Drakes and the uh, and the Khaled, so I know yeah. you definitely you know have at least thought about it at least once. Word, word, word. Facts. I mean, that that came the way that record came was like I would say that was God. You feel me? Like it really wasn't something like I reached out to to getting them on it. But it's crazy how that song was a sound that's like real South Florida. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to my sound, like I, I'm kind of real like diverse with it. So it could really be anybody. Um. So you're this dope producer with credits now. You grew up from the mud and now you're listening. Word, word, word. What were you listening to coming up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you say uh, you have Haitian descent, so there might be some compa in there. You know what I'm saying? A little mm -hmm. zook. Mm -hmm. um, but what would you say you was listening to that helped develop your ears? I know earlier you were saying you you uh, um your your follows a, your follows a gospel a Haitian gospel singer, which is yeah. fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Yeah, that that was a real like um the foundation like Haitian music growing up in the Haitian church, just being around that that was really foundation. Um, and I really got into hip hop. It was really when I started listening to Lupe Lupe Fiasco. Dope, dope, you feel dope, me? Dope. The song Superstar that really caught me because like the beat was just crazy to me. Yeah. So like I started listening to his music and that 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 was like the gateway to like just hip hop in general. You feel me? Um, I really started listening to a lot of Wayne like before Carter Three like when he dropped all those mixtapes in the middle um between Carter Two and Carter Three like. Bro, I was just like, yo, this man's going crazy. Like, the man's all like... He was forcing it. it yeah, was, it, was, it, was really crazy time. it was a crazy time. It was a crazy time, Yeah, it bro. really was. He was definitely on his shit. He was it on really his was. one, too. So, yeah. I mean, I'm going a, I'm to a sort of end things off with this, bro. Um, could you tell people, like, like any shout-outs as of right now? And where can people actually find you? Um, Shout-out the whole Brock Connie, everybody who's working, you feel me? Artists. For the photographers, videographers, promoters, whoever's out there working, you feel me? Keep working. You know what I'm saying? Shit gonna pop one day, you feel me? Um, specifically, shout out Chandelier Music. You know what I'm saying? Got dope producers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out um, Sold Out Willie, Mike Larry, Bulletproof Soul, 808 Nate. Shout out my man Zepeda, you feel me? Out of Boston, you feel me? We go way back, man. Four years strong, for real, for real. Shout out Newer Promotions, the hottest promotion team. Break any of your records, you feel me? New Era's going crazy right now. Yeah, I was yeah, on that side cloud earlier. They're they going crazy. Facts. Shout out to them boys, bro. Shout out Val, bro. You feel me? Ball shit, you feel me? That's dope, man. So, you can um, find me. tell the people where to find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. All I know is J-O. Both the same thing. Um, you can find me on SoundCloud. J-A-Y-O-B-E-A-T-S. J-O Beats. You feel me? Just fuck the kid.
What's, what's your email in case somebody trying to buy a beat though? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, hit my email, jogotbeats at gmail.com. You feel me? You can talk pricing and everything. You know what I'm saying? You can negotiate everything like that. So Scott Speed, John Glenn.